Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Unlimited Science by Sario Red. So today we're going to talk about elements. Okay, so what are elements? So like what I said in the previous video, so elements are any substance composed of only one kind of atom. So substances composed of only one kind of atom, they are considered elements. Okay. Now, uh, normally, elements are present all those substances that are uh, written in the periodic table. So, we have, uh, as of today, we have one, a total of 118 elements. Okay. Now, those elements in the periodic table can be classified uh, into three. Okay. So, first classification is what we call uh, metals. Okay. So when we say metal, so mostly they are solid form, in solid form, except for mercury of course, uh, because mercury is in liquid form at room temperature. Okay. So uh, what are metals? So when we say metal, so these are uh, elements that have a uh, metallic property, such as luster. So meaning when light strikes, so they shine. Okay? So they are good conductors of heat and electricity. So that's why most metals are used uh, as kitchen utensils, used as um, conductors for wirings, something like that. And they are also malleable. So when we say malleable, can be uh, flattened into sheets. So yun nga, like what I said, can be used as uh, for industries like that. They are also ductile because of the property ductility, so meaning they can be drawn into wires. Okay, so as you can see, um, most uh, wirings they are made up of uh, copper. Okay, then most metals they have high tensile strength, meaning they are strong enough to withstand stress and strain. So, examples of metal elements are magnesium. Uh, platinum, then you have nickel, iron, and of course silver. Okay, now if uh, the elements are not included in metals, so they will uh, be under the what we call non metal. So, non metals they exist in solid, liquid, or gas. Okay, hydrogen, non metal. Yun. Okay. So usually, like in weight, they do not have metallic property. So I have mentioned the metallic property a while ago. So if they don't, if they don't possess those properties, non-metal. Example: carbon, phosphorus, and then sulfur, iodine, and then bromine. So those are examples of non-metals. Now, there are elements where in the um, possess both uh, properties of metal and non-metal. So meaning they have metallic and non-metallic property. So they are called metalloids. Okay? So metalloids, they are solid but, but lack luster. So meaning they don't shine. Okay? It doesn't uh, reflect any light. They are typically semiconductors. Why semiconductors? Because uh, they both insulate or conduct heat and electricity. That is something special about metalloids. Example, boron, um, silicon, and then arsenic. Okay? So, now, um, mostly, most of the time, I ask my students to memorize the symbols, the names, the atomic number of the elements in the periodic table. Okay? So, for future reference. So, as of even a grade 6 student so I ask them to memorize so in the future they will thank me because at early age they were able to memorize those things okay if you have a periodic table uh, you will see or you will notice elements are arranged in the periodic table according to the increasing atomic number okay and elements are written in symbols a question how do we give symbols to an element or how are symbols given to a particular element? So we have different bases, but most symbols of elements are derived from first letter of its name. Example, hydrogen, carbon, and phosphorus. 
in other elements, they took the first two letters of uh, the name of the element. Example of that is helium, neon, and then beryllium. Okay? Then, sometimes they use the first two letters uh, of its German or Latin name. So, before, uh, before our time, elements were uh, discovered already. So, they have German and Latin name. Example of that is tungsten. Have you noticed tungsten? Why is it that the symbol of tungsten is W? It's because the German name of tungsten is Wolfram. Okay. Next. Uh, for Latin name, you have gold. As you can see, why not G? Why not GD? Because GD is for Gadolini. Uh, AU came from its Latin name, Aurum. Okay? And then copper, why not CO? Because we already have CO, cobalt. So CU is the symbol of copper derived from its Latin name, Coprum. And then lead, or PB, the symbol, so derived from the uh, Latin name, Lumbo. So those are the different elements. Okay? So on the next topic, we will discuss about compounds. By the way, um, if you are new to this video, please click subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be updated for the upcoming videos. And then, thank you to all those uh, kaanli out there who supported this channel. Okay? So, enjoy learning and let's learn together. Thank you.